and welcome back to We Talk Cricket. It is so good to have you back here with us on the channel so we can do what? Talk Cricket. Now, the first test match between Pakistan and Sri Lanka finished like a day or two ago. I know we're a little behind, but we've been stacking cricket upon cricket just trying to get everything out to you. Sorry we're late, but we still got to talk about cricket. We had an amazing test match, and honestly, before we jump into stats, honestly, from my perspective, from a fan's perspective, I felt that if Sri Lanka had a little bit more time and a little bit more runs on the board, that test match would have been theirs. Let me know if you disagree, because honestly, 133 for 6, Pakistan, just takes now 131. Hmm, right? I know. Look, we just had an incredible five days of test match, like, Finally see some test matches running again to the five days. So appreciative of it. So thank you very much for that. Now without further ado, let's jump into the stats. We have Sri Lanka batting first. I'm going to read out my phone. So please, no, these are some of these things are a little difficult for me, but I'm going to read out my phone. But we have Sri Lanka batting first, making 312. With none other than the Nanjaya da Silva making a magnificent 100. He has been out of form a little bit for me, in my opinion. He's an awesome batsman, and so it's really good to see him come into form against a really tough opponent in Pakistan. So hopefully this can lead to many good things with the second test around the corner. But really good century for him in that first innings. He was well supported by Angelo Matthews with 64. But we had basically bowling for Pakistan. We had Shaheen Afridi, Nasib Shah, and... A Abra Ahmed all taking three wickets each respectively. Now, in response, and this is this was a shocking part. In response, Pakistan made 461 all out. I did not expect that. Honestly, didn't expect that. I just didn't see it coming. Okay. With we had Mr. Saeed Shaquille making a double century, unbeaten by the way, becoming the first Pakistani batsman to do so in Sri Lanka. So congratulations to you my friend for leading from the front. It was an amazing innings. If you, if you didn't get a chance to watch it, go back, go take a look at it. He really batted well. We also had good support from Salman Agha with 80, 80 odd runs. So really, really good batting from the Pakistani lineup and really impressive. Bowling for Sri Lanka, we had Ramesh Mendes picking up a five wicket haul, really trying to peg them back, and Parbat Jaisuriya picking up three wickets, just trying to lead the Sri Lankan bowling attack. Now, I expected a lot more from the Sri Lanka batters coming into the second innings. Did not see that. Yes, they made over 200, but at the same time, you're already down 100 runs. So I expected them to just be taking their time, pushing, just trying to get as many runs as possible, close to like 400 at least, because they got the bowling to bowl up Pakistan. Not the case, because the Pakistani bowlers had different opinion. Oh, Sri Lanka will bowl out for 279, with again Mr. Da Silva making a half century, along with Nishan Machuka, who made 50 as well. So definitely a tougher go around the second time, and I believe for both teams, honestly, in this situation, yes, they only made 279, but look at where Pakistan ended up, 133 for 6. So like I said, that's why I felt like if they had a little bit more time, a little bit more runs on the board, Sri Lanka probably could have walked away with this in as the pitch just kind of became spin-friendly from there. But bowling for Pakistan, we had again Ahmed picking up three wicket, and Norm Noman, sorry, Ali also picking up three wickets. So definitely the spinners taking charge that and that last the day three four. So definitely the wicket was definitely turning, becoming a spinner's paradise. So set 131 to, to win. Pakistan came out, started losing quick wickets, like thanks to Mr. Jai Surya, who ended up with four wickets himself, because of like I said, it became a spin-friendly wicket. So managed to hold on thanks to Imam Al-Haq making a 50 and just trying to hold everything together, guiding them home. Look, honestly speaking, I felt this match could have gone anyway, but Pakistan came out victorious because they put the heads down, they utilized the wicket, they realized quickly like, hey, the way to get it is by pushing the spinners in quickly, and I thought that was a great, great mindset, especially for the second innings. I wish Sri Lanka had gotten their spinners in a lot more 
earlier they ran with their seamers for a bit but you know it's all right you, you gotta figure it out cricket is all about being strategic and utilizing your condition so good learning experience for you sri lanka pakistan congrats on the win going forward into the second test i want you to let me know in the comments below what you think is going to happen do you think sri lanka can fight back level the series or do you think pakistan is going to walk away with it 2-0 because you know what we got to do we have to talk about it where else but right here on we talk cricket and i'll catch you next time so we can talk some more later Every time you feel this way, remind yourself to